No surprise are how temperatures are causing residents to turn up that AC, but that's not necessarily where all of our power is being used. Yeah, in fact, every year Mississippi ranks among the top electric consuming states. WCBI's Parker King joins us live in the studio to tell us why we're using so much electricity these days. Parker? Guys, there are several factors tied to the consumption. Low prices across the state and some alternative sources being added to the mix help. But it's mainly revolving around the fact that electricity is really the only option for a lot of residents. It powers nearly everything we use, electricity, and weather generally determines the price of the bill. In our area, uh, temperatures drive energy use. So when, it's, when you have those extreme temperatures on either end, hot like it is right now or, or cold like it is in the winter, that really peaks energy use. Heat is the main reason for use right now, but a large percentage comes from everyday items in your house. Everything that you've got plugged up, all of your appliances, all of your cable boxes, all of your uh, game consoles, stereos, phone chargers, we have a lot of stuff that we run off of electricity. While there are some alternative energy sources in the area, for most people there's only one option. Uh, electricity is really the only way you're going to cool your home. Uh, all the air conditioning units that I know, whether it's a heat pump or whatever, run off electricity. So, of course, you're going to do that in the summertime, whether you're using a window unit, a heat pump, whatever, you, a fan, it all uses electricity. Companies like Synergetics and Starkville are bringing some alternative energy to the Golden Triangle, and they're seeing progress. It benefited us quite a bit. We've been interested in solar for many years, and in 2011, uh, I think all the pieces came together with incentives tax credits, uh, price of the solar equipment aligned where it was uh, cost effective and feasible. And it's to the point where they will be doubling the size of their panels in the next few months. Sure. This renewable source is gaining momentum, but it's unlikely Mississippians will be pulling the plug on electricity anytime soon. You're doing laundry, you're cooking supper, you're doing everything. Most of that stuff requires power and it just we, we use a lot of power here in Mississippi. I didn't print them out real And a lot of power doesn't necessarily mean spending a lot of money. Mississippians electric prices are actually below the national average, around eleven cents every kilowatt an hour. However, because we use so much of this electricity, it results in Mississippi having some of the highest monthly electric bill payments in the nation, averaging around $140. Guys, back to you.